Hi everyone, it's Gronia from Solid Solutions Ireland here and um, we're going to go through how to set up your own sheet template and part template. It's very simple and I'm going to do a video along with it so everyone can see exactly what steps I take. Okay, so first off I just want to bring your attention that I'm using SolidWorks 2015 and I'm going to just start with a regular standard, the default draw template for a drawing. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to bring in a part. So I just have a part open already so I can just bring it into my drawing. I'm just going to drag and drop any view on my sheet. When I've got my view on, I just want to go in and edit my template. So there's a couple of things here. If you've got the correct template but you want to change the size or the landscape to portrait or anything like that, just right click edit sheet format if you're changing the properties you just right click and go to properties and you have all the options in here to go between any of the standards you can also change from first angle to third angle and the scale of your sheet to make your own part template or to edit this one it's the same process so say you've started your drawing you've got your part in there you can right click, edit sheet format, and you can make whatever changes you want. So if you want to keep some things, that's perfect. If you want to delete some things, go for it. These are just simple lines in SolidWorks, so you can just click on them and delete them. If you delete one too many or didn't mean to delete one, you can always use the Control Z as an undo, or you can copy and paste using Control C and Control V on your keyboard. If you want to ensure that you have the same line thickness as the rest of the sheet you're best off to do control c and control v and of course you can pull it and drag it to match up with your lines you can also insert some smart smart text in here so say for example we have this sheet let's go ahead and add a note so we're going to go to our annotations select note come down to our material here i'm going to turn off my leader and drop my note down here wherever I'm happy with so I want to bring your attention over here to my left hand side to link to property tool so it's that little hand pointing at the piece of paper and I can go in there and it pops up this box for me so I can use the custom properties from my document here the model on my sheet or the component the annotation is attached to so the last one here is if you're adding a note to a part letting them know something about it. So I've specified in my materials cell here, so I'm going to just drop down, I'm going to go to the component to which, or sorry, the model in the view, and drop it down and I can select material. So whatever material is attached to my component will be then brought through to my part. So these custom properties would have already been set up at the part level, but they now are brought in as smart text into your part, into your sheet. Of course you can change this font size and the font of your text by just double clicking and we can make it much smaller than it is here to so make it fit in with the rest of our parts, the rest of our text. If you've got a company logo or anything that you want to bring in it's very simple so I can just drag it in here to this box actually sorry, I'll just delete this line Delete our coincident here and drag it down further. So we've got this space here we can drop our logo into. So you can go into insert, you can choose picture or object depending on what kind of file you have. Mine's a picture, so I can go in, I can pick our Solid Solutions Ireland logo and bring it in. So it's much the same as bringing in a picture into your SolidWorks files. So you can drag and drop the manipulator. You can of course resize it to your liking. We can resize it and drag it and drop it into the box we're thinking about dropping it in. And once we're happy enough with, with its size and resolution, we can drop it down there and click yes in our confirmation corner. Once you're happy with your sheet, you can go to file. You can save the sheet format. That's the part you select after you select the template. Or you can save a template. If you go into save as, you can drop down here 
and save a drawing template. I can save my drawing template then, so I can call it SSI and click save. And I can exit my sheet format editor. I'm going to just close down this whole drawing just to show you that it's come through. So I can go to File, New, check out my training templates, and I have SSI here. So we'll just go in and prove that it is the stuff we just edited. So we have the Solid Solutions logo in there, and whatever part you drag onto the sheet, you'll have the material of that part. So that's our sheet template sorted. What about a part template? So to create a new part template, I'm just going to create a new part first off. So just with my standard default SolidWorks templates first, so I have my part here. I can click OK. So I'm just in my regular part file and any edits I want to do to any of the custom properties or the document properties I can do here and then save it as a document template. So say if I want to leave the background as something different for each time so I can leave it maybe as this rooftop. If I want to change my document units or anything like that so if you want to make sure that your part's always going to be in millimetres or the imperial system you can select it here. I can click OK, MMSG. You can go ahead and choose any of these settings, change them to your liking. And once you're happy enough with them, you can simply go to File and Save As. Once you drop down to the Part Template, so you can see Part Templates, it's a .prt .file. And you can save it as whatever you want. So mine's pointed at this folder, the Essentials Training Templates folder. So it's going to go to the different tab when I open my first part. So again, I'm just going to call this SSI MM, so MM for millimeters. Once I say save, I'm just going to close down this part and create a new one again. If I go to my Training Templates where I pointed it towards, I can see SSI MM there now. If you're unsure if you're pointing in the correct direction, so if you're not sure about the folder that it's going into, you can create your own templates folder. All you have to do is make sure it's linked up in your options. So in your options, you need to go to file locations and make sure your document templates points to where your templates are saved. And then they'll automatically come into those reference boxes when you click to do a new drawing, new part, or a new assembly. Okay everyone, I hope that was helpful and if there's any more videos we can do for you or any more tips you'd like to see up on our YouTube, please drop us an email or leave a comment below. Thanks for listening and don't forget we're also on everything else, so from YouTube to LinkedIn to Facebook to Google Plus to Twitter. On our Twitter we're at SolidWorks SSI, on Facebook's and, Facebook and LinkedIn we're Solid Solutions Ireland. Thanks for listening.